All right, folks, get comfortable. This is a little bit longer one, but recently I was called out to replace a sewage ejector pump for a customer. I'm gonna show you a few tricks in this video. Pay attention. I think they're worth trying yourself. Now, this is just a standard sewage ejector basket. You can see the float switch off to the side. I'm gonna just cut that out of there, but right now I gotta get this thing ready to pull apart. There's a removable lid. As you can see, the basket is full. Tons of paper, even some feminine products in there. That's what makes standard sewage ejector basket or pumps fail. That's what that is there. Uh, that pump's only about four or five years old. I put it in back then. Now we're going to put in a little giant 16G grinder pump. This is not a standard pump. This is a grinder pump, not the same thing as a sewage pump. This thing can chalk up just about any kind of solid you put after it. So if you've got a problem system, pay attention, consider looking at a grinder pump. I would suggest a little giant, of course. It's a cast iron, one horsepower pump. It's got 27 stationary blades and eight rotating blades. What that means is it'll chop up solids into 745,000 cuts per minute. That's crazy. So if you've got a problem system or if you've got problem customers, rental properties, things like that, this is not your standard pump, but you're going to love it if you have to use it and you find a really tough job where you can put it to work. It's got a 20-foot cord uh, that is replaceable, as you can see it operating here. Float switch built in. you got different options for floats, but I chose a tethered switch like that. So, thanks for watching. This is a little bit longer video than normal, but I just wanted to share that uh, this replacement procedure, a couple little tricks, like I said, but also... Just that pump it is totally different than a standard sewage pump, and you're going to want to take a look at it. I do a little cleanup here. I always try to leave it smelling a little bit better than when I got there because this is not my favorite job, but there you go. Have a good one. Thanks for watching.